morning to you, Marcus, because I know, Marcus, you have been helping in a very specific way. You're helping children who would normally get free school meals to make sure they still get food at the moment, even though all the schools are closed. Why, what, how did this first come to your attention? How did you get involved? Uh, good morning to you too, Sally. Um, obviously, you know, in the past, I've done, I've done a lot of work um, in regards to children and... Um, Basically, when I heard about the school shutting down, and that obviously means free meals for some kids that they're not getting at school. So um, I remember when I was in school, I was on free meals, and my mum wouldn't get home till around six o'clock. So my next meal would have been about eight o'clock, but I was fortunate. So there's kids in in much more difficult situations that don't get that meal at home. Um, so basically, when I heard the schools was was closing, I wanted to try and make a make a positive influence and make sure these kids were getting the meals that they need. And how much of an impact do you feel like you might be able to have at the moment? Is it possible to help every child? Um, well, we've done, we've done as, as best as we could. Um, I think with the donations, they've, the, the people donating have, have done very well. And, you know, we managed to, to get to the 100,000 mark, which means that we get to feed 400,000 children. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been positive. Quite unusually at the moment, the two Manchester clubs, Manchester United and Manchester, Manchester City, are working together. That's not something yeah. we normally hear about. How is that going? No, I know, but I think, you know, when, when times are tough, it's important that, um, obviously, two, two clubs in that, that have huge, huge social following, um, it's important to show, show everyone that we do come together and and ultimately make a difference when, when things that are bigger than football, like what's going on now, um, do happen. So, you know, credit to both clubs. I know that um, educating feeding children causes really close to your heart at the, at the moment. And we've been working, haven't we, on a poetry competition that you've been judging for um, local schools in the northwest of England um, who educate children with hearing loss. Um, how important is it to you, considering your own childhood, how important is it to you to be able to help kids at the moment? Yeah, like you said, it's, it's, it's very important and it's at the top of my sort of to-do list um, because, you know, I understand that in our generation there's been a lot of positive and, and negative influences. Um, so I'm just trying to impact the, the, the next generation in a positive way. So, so hopefully they continue this when, when they grow and get older. Uh, we, I mentioned just at the start, you know, obviously everybody's got, you know, a, a different type of free time at the moment. How are you managing in isolation? How are you managing to stay fit? Um, you know, of course, I'm, I'm injured right now. So for me, it's just about patience. Um, I have been working hard on the bikes and, and just following the, the programme that I've had from the club. Um, uh, I've also been playing playing FIFA, um, reading reading different types of books, uh, been on calls on FaceTime with my friends. And it's just important to keep time passing um, and stay just staying with positive vibes and, you know, keep smiling. You mentioned the injury. I know lots of England and Manchester United fans will want to know how that is at the moment. Yeah, um, you know, I'm just taking it day by day, but I can say that I do, I do feel a lot, like, ten times better than, than how I did feel sort of a month, a month and a half ago. So um, things are moving in, in the right direction and, you know, hopefully I'll be, I'll be, I'll be ready to play again soon. Now, the last time we met, Marcus, was in your kitchen... Uh, we are having a cup of tea and going through um, competition entries for the poetry competition that I, I mentioned. Have you had a chance to go through that selection of poems that the kids sent you? Because I know there were there was like there was seemed to be hundreds of them. Yeah, there was a lot. Um, but yeah, we have managed to to go through them with a bit of help from some of my family. Um, we have managed to get through them, but uh, obviously with what's going on now, it's not it's not possible for that to continue. But um, as soon as this is finished, I'm definitely gonna gonna go to the school and and, and see the see the kids and and definitely give them give them the awards for the for the competition. Of course, now you have a bit more free time to continue working on your sign language skills. You were quite a lot better than me when we had a lesson. How are you getting on? Yeah, I definitely need a bit more time, um, but I'm learning. <laughs> you know, I'm getting better. Um, 
but yeah, things like that. They, they, this is what I'm. This is what I'm be doing in my spare time. You mentioned um, reading. I know you've posted a lot of pictures of you keeping your reading going. Um, how important is it that you pass this message on to the kids that might be following you for, because they're football fans to keep reading even though they're not at school? And what, what books would you recommend to them? What are you enjoying? Um, I read a lot of books on mentality, um, but that's just because in, in, my, in my profession, I feel like that's one of the, one of the key points. So I always like to just keep developing and keep improving in some way and, and physically I have I obviously can't do that right now, so the main way I can do it is is mentally. Um, but you know, for kids, it's in, it's definitely important to to be reading, and because I feel like there's so much knowledge in books, and you don't really know that until until you do start reading yourself. And uh, Marcus, how much are you missing football? Yeah, it's 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 very difficult. Um, even on the you know on the TV, there's there's nothing on TV and. I've been watching like old games from from in the Premier League from years ago and little things like that. That's that's all we can do right now. But yeah, I know I know that me and and the boys are missing football. And finally, Marcus, a message to some of those kids that you've been helping at the moment, the kids who aren't getting fed at school. What message would you send to them today? Um, I'd say you know that there is just that there is people out there that are that I help that are trying to help them and. Um, it's important for them to just keep going, keep smiling, um, keep themselves active. Um, and, yeah, the main thing is just to keep the spirits high and keep, keep smiling and, you know, everything's going to be all right. Marcus, it is great to hear from you. Hopefully we will meet up again soon and finish judging that poetry competition. Marcus Rashford, we wish you all the very best.